Hello, in this video I'm going to show you my new version of the BrainFuck interpreter, but first I'm gonna point out the flaws in the previous version. In the beginning of the execution, after being preprocessed in the encoder reactor down here, all the commands have to travel through this pipe and through the memory system upwards, and then into the flow control and down to the storage of commands. To do that, all the involved reactors use additional commands, which of course use up additional space. This is the flow control reactor number one, and here this red line passes down all the commands to reactor number two under the token which reactor number two uses to control reactor number three is found, and this is given to reactor number two and then the normal execution starts. The second reactor gives the commands down to reactor number 3, which happens on this blue line, until again the token is found. This is dropped up here, and the sink starts the red wardle, which grabs the token and drops it over here, where it stays during execution. The third reactor takes all the commands and puts them into the queue, which the blue wardle does in this line. And for that it needs this space on the output position and I wanted to have this space because I want to make the loops smaller which rotate the queue one place back, which I need to go to the previous command. Preparation phase in this reactor ends when the command end token is found and in the end I have to rotate it before I enter it into the queue and therefore the wet wardle gets involved again. and this can be seen here. To simplify all that, in the new design I put the encoder, which is this reactor, directly into the command storage queue. During execution the encoder now has to pass through all the commands that enter the queue and to do that as fast as the new loops in the third reactor of flow control I had to use both wardos. Because of this, the encoder can't pass data items to the memory system anymore. And I had to use another input to do that. And because the memory system also needs a token, I had to add this to the data item in the beginning. And now the third reactor cleans the data items which are coming in and puts the token out to the recycler. Except for the first time when the token is passed to the reactor number two of the memory system. I also was able to speed up the other two commands of the flow control reactor number three, which is I was able to make the loop to get the next command shorter, and I removed the rotation commands on this loop, which is used when I skip a loop of the program. I needed this rotation to get the token pass over the sensor, and I now do this in the beginning when I give the token to the queue. Now let's run this. And as you see, I now pass a P7 token in the beginning, which got a little smaller. The P7 token at the end is still there. And this is passed to reactor number 3, which behaves as though it would give a next command to the reactor number 1. First it will have to pass reactor number 2. And reactor number one takes it in the beginning and splits it into the command token and the command end token and enters its normal execution. And in reactor number two, the red wardle grabs it as it did before and places the command token. And the command end token goes back to reactor number three. And this is the first command to be executed. As we start to execute our first command, the encoder reactor is still placing all the commands into the queue until it finds the second P7 token. It then begins to act as part of the queue and endlessly passes the commands at the lower input through.
and now we'll run through the whole program. It took a little under 6000 cycles to execute the program and as you can see here this is the same program as I used in the explanation video part number 3 and there it executed in 7008 cycles as you can see just at the end. So I think this is a pretty good improvement. And finally I want to give you a quick look at memory reactor number 2 where I also shortened the loops that give back the previous item in the queue. So that was all for today.